Well, the boomerang is as native to Australia as the kangaroo and the koala bear. So who would compete with Australians in a boomerang throwing challenge tour? A cocky group of Yanks who leave from San Francisco tonight, that's who. Jerry Bowen looks at their prospects. Well, you ready? Okay, on three. Ready? One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, your 1981 Get United States boomerang team. No college kids either, but doctors, painters, businessmen, and salesmen. All dedicated to the sport of boomerang throwing, and when the wind is right, catching. So dedicated, they are paying their own way to Australia to challenge the folks who started the sport in the first place. And the Aussies may never get over it. The Americans have guys who can throw two boomerangs at one time. One standout who throws with both hands. Another who keeps two boomerangs in the air at once. And they have a not-so-secret weapon, a boomerang that just seems to hang in the air. It's a boomerang that, in other words, takes off, soars, and hovers, and uh, stays up forever, which is quite different from their idea, which is to <coughs> put a boomerang out and <coughs> bring it back without anything in between. It's the in-between that's the beauty of the whole sport. So we're going to Australia to show them what's in between. And the Americans are going heavily equipped. Each of the 10 team members carries about 30 boomerangs. And each is hoping to avoid those worrisome injuries that could get them yanked from the lineup. Injuries like boomerang elbow and more. I think wrist and elbow and shoulder and lower back ailments from throwing. And so it's all boomerang? Yeah, related. Australia's Consul General was on hand to scout the American challengers clutching an old hunting boomerang that he said is used to go after the critters down under. Or a bandicoot, or a wallaby, or a lizard, you know, and, and anything that's alive and moves. And his scouting report will no doubt have several pages on the exploits of Barney Roo. Roo does the William Tell routine with a twist. The thrower is the target. Score one for Barney, and brace yourself, Australia. The Americans are coming. Jerry Bowen, CBS News, San Francisco. That's the CBS Evening News for this Tuesday. Dan Rather reporting from New York.